Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile, and if you're a convicted cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel down below. On my channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop open, that is, movies and physical media. And today, um, I got some free time, so I thought I'd go out of my way and do some thrifting, as you could call it. I'm going to hit up a couple of half-priced books. Who knows if I find anything. It's, it's always a crapshoot, but... You know, I got time. Might as well try. Hashtag do it for the content, right? Talk. Shop. Pop. Movies. Here we are at the first Half Price Books location. We got some laser discs, some Beethoven second Monkey Trouble, the Academy Award winning smash hit. Criterion Collection laser discs. Those are always fun because there's a lot of titles that aren't on DVD or Blu ray. Like this one here is an English patient laser disc from Criterion. That isn't a Blu-ray or a DVD as far as I can remember. Touch of Evil. Reasonably priced too for a lot of these. Alive. Laser discs are either like four dollars or fifty dollars, depending on which store you go to. We got City Slickers. That's nice. Alright, what else do we got? Quiz Show, that's a solid movie. Face Off. And the Babysitters Club. Forgot that existed, to be completely honest. Obsession, National Geographic, Dogfight, Full Monty is a good one, Sea of Love, L.A. Story, some solid movies in there. All right, on to the Blu-rays. This is the tiny little 4K section they have here, apparently. Cool Deadpool 2 Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I like that. Don't need it. Here's a, oh God, a Curse of Michael Myers all by its lonesome. And what do you know? Here's a Halloween Resurrections, which means someone bought that box set and kept just H2O. Because over here is the original Halloween, completely separate. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, got a bunch of superhero guff. A few Criterion's hiding in here. Nice. I think that's the end of the 4Ks. Rebecca, I need to grab that one at some point. Young Mr. Lincoln. Some stores are either all their stuff's together and it's in alphabetical order like this one, which the funny thing is last time I was here, they had it separated by genre. And then some stores, like I said, are separated by genre. It's very odd. But yeah, I didn't find anything too spectacular at this store. A couple of cool steelbooks here and there. Region B Candyman Blu-ray. That's something else, at least. Lots of kids' stuff. Screen Factory Child's Play. Nothing I can't live without for the most part. More Deadpools. A couple of Despicable Me's. Good lord. Divergence. Yeah, I swear, like, if you took out the duplicates, there'd be 14 movies here. <laughs> English Patient, you can put that next to your uh, laser disc. Various Fast and the Furious movies, a whole bunch of Disney things, Ghostbusters 2016 that nobody wants. Here's a cool Greatest Showman Best Buy Steelbook. Not too bad. I already have that 4K though, so don't need that one. Lots of Harry Potter, <laughs> like an entire shelf of Harry Potter. Hunger Games, that's actually not very many Hunger Games compared to the usual, to be honest. Some Iron Man's. Yeah, there's just not a lot here. And the fact that there was only like a dozen or so 4K titles, it's kind of lame. So, not that I mind buying Blu rays, but I don't know. Just see, see the same stuff. What is this one? Oh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> Andrew Garfield thing. Forgot about that. Yeah, it's just a lot of the same, a lot of, you know, studio titles, which, you know, that's what you expect, but. Nothing here I can't live without, like I said. Once in a while you'll find some half price books gems. Like, this thing's cool. I need Ragnarok still. I'd grab it, but I'd rather get the 4K. This is the Target exclusive Blu-ray, I believe. Now I wish I'd double checked, because uh, <laughs> if it wasn't, I wish I would have bought it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's all they had here. On to half price books number two. Let's hope this one actually has something worthwhile. Checking out the little cart at the front. Not too much on here as far as Blu-rays go. This is a great movie, though. Beast of the Southern Wild, if you haven't seen that one. Check that out. Oh, here's a cool steelbook. Terrible movie, but cool steelbook nonetheless. In a protector case, too, which is rare. I don't see protector cases in stores like this ever. Holy shit, that's a lot of Harry Potter. Good lord. More than the last store, even, somehow. Yeah, that's about it on this shelf. 
good amount of VHSs here, which is cool. Got a Total Recall for four bucks. The Aviator, of course, the Christopher Reeve Aviator for a dollar. See, that's how much VHSs should be. They shouldn't be like 40 bucks. That's ridiculous. Some Richard Simmons tapes for if you want to sweat to the oldies, like the good old days. Beethoven, God, I can tell you how many times I watched that on VHS. But yeah, good stuff. Here's something I've never heard of in my life. Teresa's Tattoo. Do you know what this is? I have never heard of it. <laughs> is it worth millions? Should I go back and buy it? There we got Rope, some Shaggy Dog movies. That's cool. And uh, over here we got Hard Cash, not to be confused with Hard Rain, starring Christian Slater. Right. This horror game, it's a horror trivial pursuit game, 25 bucks, that is actually half price of what it is on Amazon. I have the little like travel version of that already. Fun game though. Alright, here's the kids movies, got Captain Underpants, see this one is arranged by genre, not just overall alphabetized like the other store. This is a pretty Cinderella still book. I'm liking that one. A little scuffed up though, but pretty. And this Frozen one, I think that's a 4K, very cool, yep. Wait, my camera can focus, let me go to the wall. Yes, 4K. <laughs> very cool. Another protector case on this, oh that's a cool one, Mary Poppins Returns. That is pretty artwork. I like that movie enough, I saw that in theaters, haven't seen it since. You know, it's not as good as the old one, but I like it. All right, cool Moana Digi book back in the days when those were still a thing. <laughs> I miss Digi books; they barely come out anymore. This is a cool Best Buy exclusive Snow White lenticular slipcover. I don't think I've seen that one before. There's so many kinds of Snow White out there. Musical section. I got this Grease steelbook at half price books for half that price. <laughs> and this Rydell High yearbook edition is pretty sweet. I like that. And Sound of Music, you can't go wrong with that. That is a classic all the way. All right, a handful of Westerns. This man with no name, Blu-ray trilogy for 10 bucks is cool. I still need to watch all those. And that's got a turkey bag on it. I think someone sold their collection who gave a shit, it seems like. See, there's another protector case for this Baywatch. Uh, this is a Target exclusive steelbook, I believe. I don't know why I remember that. Kind of cool, though. All right, some Criterion's hiding in there. Got a city slickers, a couple of city slickers. <laughs> Cooties, oh yeah, I need to watch that one still. Is Cooties any good? Let me know. I haven't seen that one yet. Here's another cool one, Ghostbusters. I believe that's the Blu-ray. A lot of cool steelbooks in here. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> if I was in the market for more steelbooks, I'd buy some. Okay, this is awesome. Kentucky Fried Movie Shout Factory for 10 bucks. Sealed. I might have to grab that. Christmas Vacation Steelbook, very nice, I like that one. The back of it's cool, kinda wish that was the front of it, to be honest. All right, what else we got? A Pitch Perfect 3 4K for 10 bucks. If it was Pitch Perfect 1, maybe. I wasn't a fan of the sequels. <laughs> they were all right, I watched them, but the first one I actually watched quite a bit. Sausage Party, Steelbook, I guess that exists, but you know, that's cool. I don't think I've seen that, at least I can't remember if I did. And then we got the Shaun of the Dead one. And a protector case as well. Very neat. What is this weird science slip? This looks funky. Oh, that's ugly. That could have had so much potential, but that is hideous. All right, up here we have a Target exclusive. Assassin's Creed still in the package for more than it costs for the 4K. Uh, <laughs> superhero movie, science fiction, Dark Knight Blu-ray, District 9 Steelbook. I wish this was a 4K. Honestly, I'd probably get that because I already have the Blu-ray and I love that movie. I need to upgrade it at some point. Here's a good one. Independence Day Resurgence in a protector case again. Terrible movie. I was kidding. I Robot in 3D. That's neat. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> this one's cool. It. The Terror from Beyond Space. I like seeing weird movies like that pop up now and again. Cool Jurassic Park steelbook. I think that's the trilogy. At least that's what it says on the sticker. Either way, it's a cool steelbook. And the Justice League. Oh, that's pretty. Once again, so many bad movies and so many pretty steelbooks. I think that's the Jim Lee art. Jim Lee is one of my favorite artists. If I'm wrong, correct me, but that looks like Jim Lee art and a labyrinth. All right, we got this surprisingly cool Maze Runner steelbook. I have no interest in those movies. And then one of its sequels that I honestly forgot existed, The Death Cure. 
that's a thing? I genuinely do not remember that existing. Uh, this Passenger's one is cool. It comes with a 3D Blu-ray and a 4K. This is another one where I bought it for 10 bucks at a different half price box about a year ago. <laughs> so, I don't know the consistency of these prices. They're kind of funky. All right, another cool Superman steelbook. Suicide Squad, that's a cool steelbook. Once again, not a very good movie. Uh, you know, at least it's not, it's the second best Suicide Squad movie, I'll give it that. This Solo one is really cool. If it was not $36, I'd probably get it. <laughs> because I'm not a huge fan of the movie. But that's a cool steelbook. I would have, I would have paid like 10 maybe 15 for that. Last Jedi, once again, I, I just don't care for newer Star Wars things. I'm one of those people. I'm just kind of over it at this point. Transformers Age of Extinction and another Transformers Age of Extinction steelbook. What's the difference? I, I didn't really look. Let me know in the comments if you know the difference. I'm guessing one's Blu-ray, one's 4K or something. I just didn't peek at which one was which. Got a Wraith. Got a cool Wonder Woman steelbook. The quasi comic book art look to it. Sort of illustrated. <laughs> kind of not, kind of is. What the hell is this? I've never heard of this. Wormwood Road of the Dead. That looks great. I'm sure that's a good one. Hopefully it's so bad it's good. That's my speed. Uh, this Apocalypse one's kind of cool too. It's kind of debossed little square there. One of those so they don't scratch so easy. Alright. That's a cool one too. Angels and Demons steelbook. I've never seen that one. Lots of steelbooks today. Holy crap. Now you see me with the protector case. Yeah, someone definitely gave up their whole collection, sadly. Or just the ones I didn't like as much. Now you see me too. Everyone's favorite Oceans movie, Oceans 8, on Steelbook again. The Scarface Steelbook, I've seen that one a million times before, but that's still pretty cool. Sherlock Holmes, those movies aren't bad. This really awesome Taxi Driver Blu-ray uh, Digibook still in the wrap. Here's some good movies. 1990, The Bronx Warriors. They're much, much better than most of the stuff I've pulled off the shelf, sadly. Uh, <laughs> 13 Hours Steelbook. That one is cool. I like that. Billy Jack Shout Select box set still in the wrapper. I also saw the Jackie Chan set. I forgot to record that. Uh, John Wick 3 Steelbook, because of course there is. There's got to be at least 400 copies of various John Wick movies. Not too much in the horror section at all. Cool Babadook slip. That's a, the best thing up here that I noticed. And this Friday the 13th. Eight film collection steelbook for 30. Not horrible. I had to show this gorgeous Supergirl second season steelbook. I love the ones with the comic book artwork. And then there's a Flash season two and season three steelbook as well. I've never watched any of those shows. Honestly, I have zero interest. <laughs> but those are cool. And in the locked up case, they got a whole row of these suckers. Look at it. There's a whole bunch more. Da Vinci Code, Independence Day, Glass, Home Alone, Deadpool. I don't know why these are case worthy and then above that i almost missed him there's a whole other row some friday the 13th equalizer another frozen <laughs> lady in the tramp quiet place a lot of good stuff but yeah i'm just not in the market for most of those movies because i have most of those movies in some way shape or form already sadly and these are the clearance titles and there's a decent amount to pick from but like i said nothing i can't live without there's an unopened respect, but yeah, I think I'm going to call that a day. I also went to a couple other stores that weren't even recording, to be honest, like Dollar General and uh, my Big Lots. They were both busts, so I at least got a couple things from here. I'll go home and I'll show you what I picked up. And we're back. Don't mind my uh, <laughs> ruby red uh, scarlet fever, which is actually what I have. Isn't that weird? That's still a thing. Turns out it's a weird side effect of strep throat. News to me. That's fun. Anyways, uh, <laughs> to, went to two different half price books. One substantially better stuff than the other one. I didn't get anything at the first one. There's jack crap there. Got a couple books for my kid, but, you know, I didn't show that. Uh, the second one, I did buy two things. I didn't get any of those steel books. Those steel books were crazy cool. I just don't need them. I don't need to spend that much money right now. Uh, but I cannot turn down that it's like the weirdest thing i showed probably for most people that kentucky fried movie i took the price tag off uh so it's got like the actual 20 dollar price tag this thing is 15 bucks new on amazon right now but usually it's at least that much if not more 
And this thing's still sealed, and I got it for 10 And this is a funny movie, if you haven't seen it. It's a Zucker Brothers thing. This is sort of like the prelude to Airplane. So if you like Airplane, or sketch comedy, anything like that, naked gun movies, that stuff, check it out. It's a funny movie. It's like a sketch comedy movie where every, you know, 10, 15 minutes, there's another little thing going on. There's a Bruce Lee spoof in there, some commercial spoofs. It was pretty good. I watched it a few years ago. Um, and then another one I bought. This is a thing I thought I owned. I didn't show it in the video because I didn't notice it until I looked again because I was recording and then <laughs> double check <laughs> and debate. Um, I picked up Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy on Blu-ray, which, you know, nothing spectacular. Uh, but I like this movie a lot. It's funny. I thought I owned it. I swear I had this on Blu-ray. Maybe I sold it at one point. Maybe I only had the DVD. I don't remember. I'm just confused when I checked my Blu-ray.com app. I'm like, I don't have this. So I grabbed it. It was like seven bucks, which is, you know, an okay price for what it is. But it's a Touchstone movie. And as we all know, Touchstone is part of Disney. Blah, blah, blah. Disney releasing things isn't the best. Uh, this will be coming up on its 20th anniversary next year. So, you know, with my luck, it'll get a 20th anniversary 4K. And I would honestly probably buy that too at some point because this is a really funny movie. I love Sam Rockwell. I really like Martin Freeman. It's got um, Bill Nighy and Alan Rickman. I was brain farting there for a second. Zoe Deschanel. Really good cast. John Malkovich. Very solid movie. I remember seeing it a couple times in theaters when it came out because I was working there at the time. It's fun. It's a very good movie considering it's a fairly difficult source material to turn into a movie. So <laughs> that's all I got. I honestly recorded footage at Big Lots and Dollar General, and it was just not even worth editing into this video. It was so shitty and nothing was there. Ugh, I think my Big Lots had one 4K, and it was like that crappy Hellboy movie that came out a few years ago. And I already have the Steelbook that's cooler looking and cheaper than that. So that's all I got in this one. I know, a little underwhelming, but at least I got to show off some <laughs> really cool steelbooks um, from that store. There was dozens and dozens of encased steelbooks, which is just something you don't see very often. Um, I'm going to be doing another Walmart run video. This time, hopefully I'll buy something. It probably won't be as long as this video because it's only Walmart. How much can you look at, honestly? There's that steelbook wall and like two other things. So on that note, Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Fuck. Shop. Pop. Movies.